All right, welcome everybody to the Three Way Podcast Show. Very special episode today, episode fifty five zero. I'm your host with the most Los, aka Public Enemy fifty nine, and behind the magic, our co-host here we got JRX, Eli, aka JRX. Yeah. What's up? Hey, it's going down. All right, so we got a jam packed show this week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, please like, follow, subscribe, comment. You know the whole uh, jigamaro. Uh, but we're gonna start off with pop culture. Pop. Pop. All right. So this week we heard some some good news, man, all around. Some some a lot of stuff going on and some not so great stuff. So we're gonna start off with Cuphead. Cuphead. Netflix announced they're making a Cuphead show. Yes, they did. What do you okay? So apparently, what they're gonna do is they're gonna look just kind of like the video game. If you haven't seen the the if you haven't played Cuphead, it has a very distinct like nineteen twenties art style that they translated to the video game. Video game is badass. You can play it on Xbox. It's on Switch. Uh, but they're making a show out of it, a cartoon or a TV show, whatever the hell you want to call it. Yeah, uh, Netflix is uh, developing this uh, cartoon uh, based on the video game, the Cuphead. Cuphead. Uh, it's in, in the game is like hand drawn, but this one is it's not gonna be like literally hand drawn. This is like yeah, dig- digitally hand drawn. They they came up with a name for it, Digi Digi something Digi. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The stupid name, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But basically, it's like drawn, but it's like done digitally through you know freaking screens and tablets. So yeah, it's not like. The art style, like, it's not, like, authentic like the game was where they actually did make these, like, frames. Yeah, in the game, they, they actually, like, frame by frame. Yeah. Hand drew everything. Correct. And then put it all together. Yeah, so it's not like uh, that uh, 100%, but they're trying to take that same style and implement it digitally. So we'll see if it comes through. Apparently, they're trying, they're taking a lot of inspiration from the old Mickey cartoons really where every show mickey was something else a sailor a pilot mm. uh you know so it's not gonna be like an overarching story each episode is gonna be like its own thing mm-hmm. uh well yeah uh netflix's in-house's uh development team is doing this not the people that actually made the game but the people that actually made the game are actually just like a supervising kind of thing yeah cool cool what do you think are you gonna watch this uh, yeah, of course. It's Cuphead. I love Cuphead. Okay. Cuphead is a very difficult game, but it's also very fun to play. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. Um, uh, on, on other news, um, excuse me. I need a... <laughs> what the hell? Uh, that was weird. It's what never, was that? It's never happened before. That was me sneezing. What does that mean when you sneeze? I don't know. Doesn't it mean something? Not to me. No, it means something was up my nose. Isn't that when somebody like walks over like the place you're gonna die? (laughs) Well then, shit. Then just last year, I had like a lot of people walk over that spot. It's weird. Oh. No, I think it just means someone's thinking about you. Or isn't that when your ears are red or something like that? I think when your ears are red, that's when somebody's talking shit about you. Oh, okay. So no one, no one really talks crap about me. That's because nobody likes you. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> a Mortal Kombat movie got announced, uh, and it was assured that this movie is going to be rated R. Whoa! And fatalities will be <laughs> in the movie. Fatalities. <laughs> Hell yeah. Because in the original Mortal Kombat, first of all, it was like PG, right? PG-13, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. And then... They didn't really show much gore, if I remember correctly. It's been a long time since I've seen this original Mortal Kombat movie, but there wasn't much gore, and there for sure mm, wasn't. No, there wasn't. No. Exactly. There was like the theme song, maybe. <laughs> you know, I'm other than that. Ear to ear. Man, that movie was so good. I remember I remember how hyped I was for that. Like, if, I don't, I've never seen like a video game movie. I mean, I think Mario came out before. Yeah. That's but not, nobody cares about that. Yeah, let's not bring, that, bring but, that up. But the fact that they made like a Mortal Kombat movie was like crazy. Yeah, and then um, yeah, the it, it was not great. But you're right. As far as video game movies go, is what it was up there. 
until you know Detective Pikachu. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, I'm excited about this, and they're trying to stay true to the genre, to the you know, to the history. Stay true to the game. You know, it's a bloody, it's a gory <clears throat> game, and I they're tr- ho- I'm hoping they translate that over to film. Yeah, I mean, right now they're just uh, announcing the like some of the casting, and one of the casting is. Is one of the actors from the Raid movie? I don't know if anybody's ever seen that. It's actually a really good movie. From what movie? The Raid. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I heard. It. Yeah, no. I <laughs> it's really good. I have it actually. Oh, my uh, uh, actually, that movie had sound, the soundtrack composed by Mike Shinoda of Linkin Park. That's how I found out about it. But that's a whole different thing. All right. Uh, so Sub Zero's character has been cast. Uh, it's this guy right here. If you were watching on the YouTube side, you've been looking at him for a while. Uh, I don't know much about him. I mean, what? <clears throat> wow, I'm like, my throat is dying. Uh, uh, I don't really... Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, they're probably going to get a lot of D-list, C-list actors. That's fine. I'm not expecting <laughs> Angelina Jolie to be up in here. I mean, she was in Tomb Raider. Uh, you know, maybe a Ronda Rousey, you know? I mean, she was in uh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I, yeah you know, I could, I could see Ronda Rousey. No, but... um. I just, I don't care as long as it's w- story's good, the CG is good, and the gore is there, and the fatalities are tight. Like, that's really what I care about. Oh, okay. Um, sure, I mean, Mortal Kombat story is convoluted. It's a lot of time traveling and... Yeah, I, I was and, actually, it's funny that you say that, because I was watching, like, this thing uh, where they did, like, a quick recap of Mortal Kombat, and how it was, like, it, it went to, like, from everybody dying, and then, like... To Raiden, like, Raiden did something to where time had to be reset, and then it yeah. started all over again. I'm like, man. It's a whole shizzle, and yeah, I don't want, I mean, the story probably, it's not going to be great, but I just want everything else to be great. I want badass fighting, I want gore, I want fatalities, I want the CG to look legit. I you, mean, as long as that all comes together. What about what about the outfits? Do you want women scantily clad? Hey man, stay true to the game. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> whatever you got to do to stay true to the game, you know? All right. Uh, I just want it to have that spirit. You okay. don't really go to Mortal Kombat for the story, even though a lot of people do like it and keep Apparently, up with it. Apparently, yeah. But you go for everything else. And every, the action is badass. And as long as the action is legit, you know what? It could be a fun summer, summer movie. Okay. I could see that happening. All right. All right. Now to more... You know, depressing news. Mm, time to pull um, up the credit card. It uh, got announced that Friends will be no longer be <laughs> at Netflix. Uh, it will now be carried to HBO's new streaming service called HBO Max. It is said that they're going to have over, you know, a thousand, whatever, thousands of viewing hours in this new thing. And, what do they have, like Warner Brothers stuff? Uh, and, they yeah. have... A couple of things. I saw Friends. I saw Little Big Lies, Liars, oh, whatever. We, go. we got Warner Brothers, TNT, Adult Swim, TBS, CNN, DC, Boomerangs, uh, New Line Cinema, True TV, and the Cartoon Network. Damn. That's a, that's a lot. But what I don't get is HBO already has a service. HBO Go or HBO Now. But it's only like strictly HBO. Style. Correct. Like, why not merge that all? That's what they're doing. Are they going to... So it's all going to be one thing. HBO I Max. so. I mean, but then again, the other one is like... Just HBO exclusive stuff. And also like... It also like... Uh, the, the the broadcasts are, li- are simul uh, telecast at the same yeah. time. Yeah, streamed and and and, and, yeah. and... and yeah, casted at the same time. As they would I don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I, I don't know if they're going to merge it. I hope they do. But if they do merge it, right now, if you just pay for HBO like separately, it's 15 bucks, And you get HBO now or Go, yeah, whatever. It is. I mean, you're adding this service. Let's say they do merge it. I don't doubt they keep it at 15 Now you're paying, what, 20 25 30 for all these know, services? It's, it's so many things now. Like everything's going like uh, subscription-based. 
but we kind of asked for this, especially since like I remember when uh, cable was the hugest thing. But people were like, "Why do I want this channel? Why do I need to get this package?" I'm yeah, like, I feel like I'm paying extra money for something I don't want. Yeah, but now that we have the option to get everything people separate, people got what they wanted. People got what they wanted, but now everything's like, "Well, you're pretty much gonna end up paying the same much, the same amount you would have paid like on uh, with the yeah, cable." Yeah, supposedly cutting the cord was supposed to save people money, and now it's kind of like, uh, maybe not, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, um. HBO Max, another streaming service. We have Apple TV coming out later this year. We have, uh, you know, Amazon already, Hulu. We got Netflix. We got each of these big, you know, ABCs that's doing their own streaming things. It's never ending, man. You know? Yeah. We'll see. So, yeah, this is coming out next year, 2020. Uh, I'm assuming that's because of uh, licensing deals and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, are you uh, are you going to get it? <laughs> that's my answer oh my god alright so we're gonna move on to sports <sighs> touchdown it's a home run goal sports sports space swords yeah. <laughs> we're still doing that a uh, lot of news in sports a lot of soccer news in sports so the US women's national team Won the World Cup. Hey! Work hard. USA! 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 Uh, So these ladies went out to France. You know, uh, some of these uh, stars called it. Said that, oh, we're going to be there. And sure enough, they beat the Netherlands. What was it? Two to one? One zero, I believe. One zero? Oh, shit. Okay. Well, yeah, they they, uh, whooped on the Netherlands. uh, Won the championship. It was two one, I think. Was it? Um, won the title. Megan Rapinoe, uh, not only won the Golden Boot for most goals, but won the MVP, most valuable player, and uh, yeah, is a is a World Cup champion now. Uh, and they just had their victory tour, but yeah, they they uh, really straight run. To be honest, I wasn't too, uh, you know, involved. The games here, U.S. Central Time, were like. During work hours, I couldn't watch most of the games. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I, ca- I caught the final because it was on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, I couldn't really catch the games. I wasn't really involved. I was keeping up with the with the team, yeah, seeing what their scores were. But I, I never really saw any of the games because uh, of work. Uh, but I'm glad they won it. You know, uh, Megan Rapinoe with the whole... Uh, you know, Trump thing and oh, yeah. not going to the White House and, uh, you know, she's been taking advantage and all the, all the, all the squad has, you know, taking advantage of, uh, the spotlight. Uh, yeah. The spotlight. And that brings us to, you know, the eco pay, you know, uh, discussion that they brought up and that brings us to the men's side, right? Cause that's been <laughs> a big part of the men's, the men's talk was, that the woman's team is not getting paid as much as the men are. Well, the men had their own tournament going on. The Gold Cup, right? It's uh, the CONCACAF. CONCACAF. All the, all the teams from uh, Central Stupid and Caribbean name. and and uh, uh, North America going at it. And the uh, U.S. went up against Mexico. Not a shocker. And the uh, Mex- Mexican team went on to beat, you know beat uh the u.s team pretty handily i think it was oh no it was that one was zero. One zero. it was one zero uh but you know i saw that game also and uh, mexico had pretty much most of the control u.s had their chances but they just couldn't finish could not finish Man. had a couple of chances early in the in the in the in the in the in the game in the first half but didn't mm-hmm. finish altador had a clear-cut chance to get him up uh, did not finish. Uh, the young guy Pulisic played an amazing game, uh, I think. Uh, but he couldn't. You know, you can't carry the team by yourself. Uh, Bradley starting to show his age. Uh, the team was just kind of like always trying to. I don't know. It just did not look great. Not a great performance. And you know that has kind of spurred the the flames of the discussion that well, you know the U.S. Men's teams, you know, hasn't won the World Cup. Man, just pay them all the same. Who cares? 
I agree, but, you know, whatever. Who are we? We're just a fucking... I mean, I don't watch either sports, so I don't really care. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah, play something else. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, that's, uh, you know, the men's national team is... They had a little spurt there where they were one of the top five teams in the world. Uh, you know, back when, you know, they were being coached by... Is that when they had that German guy? No, no, he never really did what he was supposed to do. It was with Bruce. No, it was with uh, K- 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 I forget the guy's name. But, uh, no, uh, but yeah, uh, they just haven't returned to that prominence since. Uh, <clears throat> it looks like they're trying to bring in a new crop of players, and they kind of need it because Altidores, that Bradleys aren't doing it anymore. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, but Mexico, congrats on winning the. The, 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 the World Cup, yeah. Uh, now you know the World Cup, men's World Cup is next year. Well, I'm excited. Um, NBA, <clears throat> NBA. Now, <clears throat> free agency opened up last week, and we just had a slew of signings, every, uh, like just upheaval in the NBA. Yeah, uh, true. there's finally a parody. Between the whole NBA. Everybody seems to have a chance. You think so? Hell yeah. I'm not just going to give it to the Clippers. They got Kawhi. They got... uh, Paul George. uh, Paul George. I'm not just giving it to them. I'm not giving it to LeBron and... uh, uh, Anthony Davis. uh, What's his name? Anthony Davis. And they just picked up... Yeah, they just picked up Cousins. I'm not giving it to them. Danny Green. (laughs) Green, please. Overrated. (laughs) Overpaid. Overrated, overpaid, all of it. You know, I, I'm not convinced. I'm not giving it to Brooklyn. To, uh, Brooklyn. KD. KD. Kyrie. Kyrie. I'm not giving it to them. No. I mean. What so, about the Warriors? Warriors with the, uh, you know, D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo Russell, Russell and they got a. Uh, uh, Curry. Curry and they. Clay. I can't remember nobody. God, hey, where you been? I can't remember nobody, bro. <laughs> I'm not giving it to them. Who are you giving it to then? No one. <laughs> it's up for grabs. And this week. Not even to the Houston. Not even to Houston, who just traded Rockets. away the huge contract for thank Chris goodness. Paul. Thank huh? goodness. Oh, thank you. Finally, did something good. Get rid of Chris Paul, dude. But Injury p- prone. They, way too expensive. What were you doing? They got doing? the same contract back. It right, don't matter, though. But they a got younger a, player. They got a better player. A dynamic player. A way better player. On West, uh, Russell Westbrook, but the question is, can the guy play alongside James Harden? Probably not, because when they were playing together, James Harden was a six man. He wasn't handling the ball like he is now, and then Westbrook is like a full time ball hog nowadays. So I see. Look, man. I mean, we'll see. You got Russell at, at the point, point guard. Point guard. You got um, Harden at. Shooting guard? Small forward? Yeah, that too. But then they're but then they're bringing in uh the the six oh, man. Oh, they got they also added uh, uh Tyson Chandler. Tyson Chandler just came in. But he don't he skips leg day, dude. I mean, yeah, he's an NBA champion, but mm. we'll see, man. Cause then they got Capella, and they kept uh what's his name? Um, PJ Tucker. PJ Tucker. So I'm not even giving it to them. No. No. Not even gonna ride with the hometown. I, I I'm finally. Last year I was talking shit the whole year about this is the Golden State League, National Basketball League. Yeah, Golden State ba- National Basketball League. That's what it was. And you know what? If not for some injuries, it probably would still be. Who knows? Facts. But uh, you know things turned out. Toronto got the championship. That's great. Another team got it. I'm I'm glad about that. But this season, man. Who's going to win it? You know, you got Utah who made some moves. You got Min- uh, Minnesota that kept some players. You got mm-hmm. Portland that's kept some players. So, they, finally, in the, in, the, in the league, we're seeing these teams that all got a chance, man. They all got a chance. I mean, we can ask Vegas. Vegas usually knows. No, Vegas, Vegas I'm doesn't gonna go to Vegas know, in man. August, so I'm, Vegas I'm, I'm doesn't gonna know, them. man. I'm going to ask them real quick. Vegas doesn't know. Nobody knows. All right, right now, the number one to win are the Lakers, of course, and then the Clippers, and then the Bucks, and then number four are the Rockets. 
I don't know, man. I do not know. I, there's no way we could call it because injuries are going to happen. Players are going to get banged up. We're going to have new stars. We're going to have a new crop of rookies. We're going to have free agents. We're going to have... Oh, yeah. We got uh, my, uh, Mount Zion, whatever his yeah, name is. Uh, yeah. Over there at uh, New Orleans. So, we got... It, it's exciting. I actually am excited for this upcoming season because we don't have any idea what's going to happen. We don't know which team is going to come out of these of these uh, leagues, you know, with the home home field advantage. We don't know what can happen in the playoffs. Facts. We don't know who can, who can, who can stay healthy right. in the playoffs because these these bastards play hard. Right. I'm I'm finally excited for the NBA, man. Wow. I, I'm actually gonna watch this year. Well done, NBA. Work card. Oh, <laughs> and to be honest, it was you know who who made this happen? Who? Kawhi. Kawhi could have easily gone to any of these squads and created a super team. But that's not the Kawhi way. Kawhi doesn't go with with the current. Kawhi doesn't go with the times. He doesn't go he doesn't choose what's easy the easiest route. But why why Clippers though? I'm because so confused about that. Clippers has long been one of the worst teams out there. Okay. I mean they had a Freaking the power forward and, and Chris Paul for a good while, but they still couldn't win in the playoffs. Oh, Blake Griffin. And, Blake Griffin uh, and, and Paul, Paul. That, that Paul. you know. But that, you know, that aura of losing is just sticking with the Clippers. And you know what? I think he wanted to go up in there and change a team, the culture. And really, if he wins a championship at L.A. Clippers... He's one of the best of all time. I don't know. He's turned Toronto. He won MVP in San Antonio, which San Antonio was already already had the pedigree. But then to go to the LA Clippers. The Clippers. Where is this fool from? Let me see. He's from somewhere south California. He's from California. Man, he's only going home, man. Bro, to yeah. turn. He could have gone to the Lakers. He, here he, he goes. He could have gone to the Lakers and got LeBron the easy. number two. I'm going to go home. He wanted to turn the script city. himself. Be the be the legit player himself. Change a whole franchise. He wants that. He wants that goat, bro. He's not going for the easy championship. He's it not going matter. to the Heat. LeBron's on his but way. He's out not doing anyways. what LeBron did and going to the Heat. He's not doing what uh, KD did and go to the Golden State. No, this guy wants to make his own history. No, he went home. And if, 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 he could have gone to any of these squads and made a super team and had a a ring made. Done. Next ring is done. He already has two rings. What, he ain't worried about all that. He could have gotten <laughs> max contract. He could have gotten the same contract he's getting right now anywhere. Anywhere. No, no. But, but hey. Some, uh, something ain't right, sitting right with it. Hey, man. He, sun, went, sun, he sun, did the most unexpected thing. There's something the going Clippers. on here. He did the most unexpected thing. I think somebody thing. knows something about him and like told him, you better go play for the Clippers or nah, else I'm going to release this information. So. I'm going to release his sex tape. No. Nah. Yeah. Kawhi, come on. Yeah, I mean, Kawhi those, doesn't have sex. Those big ass hands, bro. Kawhi doesn't he's have doing sex. Something. Have you not seen him? He's doing something, bro. Did you not? Oh, you, did you see how he went to the Nickelodeon? Uh, yeah, awards? he went no goddamn pictures. He don't, like, he don't want to be in front of the camera no more because he bro, already got caught. I, w- I wouldn't talk to Kawhi like that, right, sir? Right, right? No, hell no. I'm getting out of his way. No, whatever. All right, what? tell us what y'all think. What team do you think is gonna win the NBA uh, championship? I want to know. Because I don't know. We don't know. Nobody knows. Vegas don't know. Cleveland. And if it's the Lakers, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to gaming. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Big news in gaming. Uh, We're going to start off with Lord of the Rings. Oh. <laughs> MMO. RPG. Has been announced. That it is being headed up by Amazon. Co-created. Well, it was being created by another studios. Mm-hmm. Now it's been handed off by Amazon. Uh, yeah, Amazon Game Studios is co-developing a new massively multiplayer Co- online game okay. based on the J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings. The free-to-play game will be based off of Tolkien's literary Free-to-play. trilogy, oh my God. not the Peter Parker Helm films. Peter Parker. Uh, and the unrelated Amazon <laughs> coming... So this basically this game is not going to be related to the TV series coming out on Amazon. It's not related to the movies. It's re- is based on the books. So, free to play MMO. All of that just sounds freaking bad to me. 
Really? All these MMOs. Look, man, I keep I keep getting promise from these MMOs that it's gonna be unique. It's gonna be different. It's gonna have the theme of this. Okay, maybe it's gonna have the theme, but all these MMOs, man, just take shit from each other. Dun, dun, dun. They're all the same shit. I mean, it's just kind of like, uh, I'm not re- I'm not looking forward to it. The free to play even worse. So how are they gonna make a profit? It's gonna be in game. Purchases, DLCs, yeah, like lot, subscription service, whatever the fuck. All that just sounds not good to me. Uh, yep, that sounds about right to me, actually. <laughs> hey, you wanna play this quest? You gotta buy this DLC. Hey, uh, you want a new mount? You want a new robe? You gotta pay for this. Like, ugh. Yeah, but Come there's on, a lot, there's a lot of games going free to play, anyways. I mean, the free yeah, to play but base, it's just. It, it, it sometimes, for the most part, it makes them more money, though. Exactly, and I get and, it. I and, get and, it, and it helps them out too. Because say, say you do buy a sixty dollars game, right? I mean, what what are the chances like if you continuing to support that game if it's supposed to be like a online service game where it's constantly supposed to be updated? When when you're like, oh, I don't want to spend any more money. I already gave you this so much, so so money. But I think it's people of mindset is a little bit more forgiving, and they're like, well, it is free. Uh, I guess I'll support the developers and pay for these microtransactions here and there. Yeah, no, you're right. It's a good business. It's on the business end. It's what they got to do. They got to make money. But mm-hmm. am I going to probably get hyped up for something that I know is going to have mad purchases in game? Not really. Uh, they're also saying that the Amazon is boasting that the veteran developers who have been working on this game have also worked on games like EverQuest. Destiny, Planet Side, World of Warcraft, and uh, other MMOs contributing to the game's development. All right. Well, we'll see. That's all we can say. <laughs> uh, Call of Duty. Call of Call of Duty. Uh, Modern Warfare. They oh. revealed some gameplay to a lot of influencers, uh, a lot of people online, uh, and they revealed a mode gunfight. Yes, uh, gunfight is a two v two. A uh, small map, uh, same loadout type of gameplay. Basically, it's kill or be killed. It's 40 seconds. It's super fast paced. It looks, it looks good. I it mean, it does. I mean, we, we. I was surprised. They basically gave us like a really small teaser of what uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare is gonna be. Uh, the new next gen, new engine, new everything. Like, this is the first time we're seeing these things, and. Uh, well, the full reveal reveal will be August first, but I am kind of excited, like what they're showing so far. Yeah, man, same here. Um, I I I like the mode. It looks like uh, some kind of paintball course where uh, I saw some of the footage from, and it looks cool, man. It looks fun. Two v two, you get with your best friend, get online, just try to kill some people. I want, that's all, that looks fun to me, man. Um, uh, and and I'm I'm. A lot of people are praising the gameplay, the gunplay. It feels good. The time to kill isn't too long. It isn't too short. It's a good median. We'll see. Uh, I'm sure they're going to come out with a beta. I can't wait for that. But I'm excited, man. I'm excited for this. Uh, every time I hear more news coming out of it, I, I get more and more excited about it. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, uh, it looks like a mixture between, uh, I want to say Siege and Battlefield. Whoa, 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 chill. Uh, Siege. Yeah. What are you? What are you talking about? Because of the the way the the guns are set up here. The way the guns. Yeah. Are set up. Like okay. Can we can we leave Siege under this? For no. example, <laughs> for example, the uh in this two v two, like if it if it comes down to like one v one, it becomes really really tactical. Like you kind of have to like work together, or I mean uh work to a point where you're like okay i need to find out where he is how he, where he if i can go kill him whatever so it does become like that kind of like mind play kind of game and siege you'll get where you have to find the angles and shit like that and then it's more it's kind of like battlefield where the graphics are updated that we finally oh, yeah. see a new it engine looks, in it call of duty freaking beautiful. and it looks really good hell yeah uh some people, uh, the veteran Call of Duty players from the Modern Warfare days, the original Modern Warfare, Call of Duty 4, are not liking the sly mechanic. They're not liking yeah. the speed of the game. Yeah. But 
Honestly, those people are grown ass adults now. Have kids. Gigi's in the chat. I'll talk to you later. I'm looking for the new blood. This is why we're rebooting this series, not only for name recognition, but to get new people to come join us. Uh, no, I agree, man. Hey, if if that, you know, you got to put your trust in these developers. It's Infinity Ward. Uh, it's uh, yeah, uh, Infinity Ward. Uh, I think Treyarch is taking over of like overall like production i guess or mm -hmm. whatever for all these call of duty games now oh, okay because i think they got rid of two developers they got rid of sledgehammer and ravensoft which were like other developers for these call of duty games mm. so i think they're doing like three year cycles now instead of the two years and no uh, it was a a year cycle where oh yeah three year yeah mm, i know what you mean okay yeah yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, okay. So, the next game after this one, we're going to get, like, another bad, uh, Black Ops series game. Uh, but, it, I mean, honestly, these games, I mean, these games are not really meant to be, like, carried to, like, a lot of kids like to play this in, like, uh, competitive play, like, esports. I don't, this is why, this is a prime example why these games are not, like, as popular as uh, CSGO, Siege, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Overwatch. It's because these games keep changing every time. That's the thing. Like little things, they never want to stay with one game. Yeah. Keep updating that it's one every game. Every year, you're, it's a new meta. Every year, it's a new meta. Like that, you'll never get this game as popular in esports if you, they keep doing this. So I believe that's what they're doing by getting rid of some of these other studios. They're gonna they're gonna start focusing on like keeping these games uh, more relevant longer. Well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, because look at. Uh, so you're releasing this new Call of Duty now, Black Ops Four, right? Oh uh, yeah, it's right now Black Ops Four. It's gonna start to die out. That still has a good following. It has uh, that uh, um, the mode. What's it called? The Black which one? Oh, Blackout. Is that yeah? The Battle Royale. Yeah, the yeah, Battle Royale yeah, mode. Blackout. Like that's still popular. Mm -hmm. And now you're gonna start just phasing that out because the next year, very next year. Mm -hmm. Like you're kind, you're kind of losing out on money. Yeah. Because if you would have came out with a maybe a holiday expansion, everybody would have gotten that, right? Well, Call of Duty Black Ops Four has like expansions that come out. They just came out. I know with they one. did. Yeah. But the thing is, uh, because the the mindset is already like, okay, this 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 Call of Duty is pretty much gonna be dead soon. Yeah. Because we're gonna get another one. Yeah. Why am I gonna spend money here? Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. They're yeah. losing out on money if they would. Keep these games out there longer. Mm -hmm. Not only will the quality, I think, of their games be better, mm -hmm. but their fan base and the, the amount of profit they make, I think, would be better. But, you know, what the fuck do I know? These guys make big <laughs> Well, I don't um, know. I mean, Ubisoft is doing that, too, with Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed was coming out, like, almost every year. Yeah, and they changed it. And, and changed Odyssey it. turned out to be one of their most prop profitable um, and... One of their mm -hmm. highest rated scored uh, 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 Assassin's Creed mm -hmm. most beloved uh, because everybody had time to play it. You weren't coming out with another one the next year. Mm -hmm. You just released more updates for the current game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, so yeah, I think it's a win-win, but we'll see. Um, last thing in gaming, uh, Nintendo came out of, out of nowhere. It was a YouTube video when I first saw it. It's always um, a YouTube video with them. <laughs> yeah, uh, and they announced the Switch Lite. It's a beautiful looking little handheld console that they're going to release for $100 less than the Switch, $200. And it has, it is missing some functionalities, has no, uh, no rumble. Mm -hmm. No uh, detachable Joy-Cons. Joy yeah. uh, smaller screen. Um, it's about as big as like what? No IR, a, a IR reader. Yeah. No motion. So a lot of things that the console does not have. But for those people looking for that two hundred dollar price range, and you're not you're not gonna really be playing on the TV. It's a good option, right? I have my Switch, three hundred dollars. I put it on my TV. I put, play it handheld. I love it. I get the motion controllers. Mm -hmm. You know. So you won't get those things with uh, the Switch Lite. <clears throat> you won't even get that uh, kickstand either. No, no kickstand. <laughs> so it's meant really only for handheld gaming. Yeah. It's 200 bucks. Has some nice colors. I like those. 
Yeah, I like I like the turquoise, the yellow, and the gray. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I really like them. But you they, know, they a lot. More. So a lot of people have, people have been complaining about the Switch Lite. Oh, there's also the uh, the Pokemon one coming out. Oh yeah, actually that one looked really nice too. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Switch uh, Lite that it's gonna be Pokemon themed and it's gonna right, have the, right. Yeah, on the back that one looked nice. So what do you think? Uh, I am not. I'm more in the uh, I'm more in the camp of like, uh, okay, the cheaper switch. Uh, let's make some more money. Uh, we have kids at home. Let's buy a cheaper one for them, cause uh, little kids don't know how to like take care of their stuff. So let's let's get them a cheaper one. Uh, but as far as like, there's been like rumors of always like these rumors have been coming out since like early, uh, I mean late last year where they where we're supposed to get a, like a new updated switch with like. Like quote unquote a pro version, like a better quality of like uh, processing, a better screen, better battery life, blah blah blah, all that good stuff. Um, of course, we didn't get it. Uh, people are saying we still might get it. There's been still rumors about that too. Still, yeah, even and I now. think it is gonna come maybe mm-hmm. next year to co- combat the new systems coming out in 2020. Mm-hmm. I think they're gonna let the Switch Lite sell. Holiday I th- season. I think that let the people yeah. want to save money get this next year. I think that next revision will come. Yeah, I think this for sure is like a hundred percent for the kids. Like, if you're like a teenager, like fourteen and younger, maybe, or even sixteen and younger, this is for you. This is for people who are don't drive. <laughs> this is for people who are usually not at home but like to play video games. This is for people that I feel that are just going to be uh, I mean like it's cuz the the way I look at it is the way I, I play games and I'm like okay I I'm I'm, a, I'm not going to be at uh I'm not going to uh, need a switch where where I can't dock it cuz I'm usually at home playing video games. Yeah. I'm I'm not going to need a switch where um it doesn't have a kickstand. I can't take off my Joy-Cons. Uh, I don't. I don't need a switch where where I, if I have a already have a regular switch, why do I want a light that I can't put my profile on? Uh, and then if I do, like I have to keep so, turning on and off the yeah. The, supposedly the primary one. Supposedly yeah. they're gonna be doing. They're gonna come up with a way. There already is a system transfer, right? Yeah. Where you can transfer from your information from one switch to another. Supposedly they're gonna make it much easier. Okay. But then there's some games that are hard to transfer. And there's some games that you can't even play because it you can't remove the Joy Cons. Yeah, exactly. Like one two switch you couldn't play on there. No well, okay, wait, wait. You can play it because you can connect Joy Cons to it, like separate Joy Cons. You can connect your pro controller, you could connect your, your already existing Joy Cons that are from the regular switch. You could connect those to the light. But the thing is, is like games like uh, Mario Party. There's some games that where you're supposed to connect the switches together, like you know. Yeah, that's a whole different yeah, mode. But that's what I'm saying. Though. You wouldn't be able to. You do wouldn't that. be able to do that. Um, yeah, it's weird. Uh, you know, they're gonna have to like the fact that no detachable. Like, if they would have just made the option, like give you the cheap controllers, mm-hmm. but then if you want to go out and spend more and get the more expensive ones. You can do that and attach them on there. I mean, honestly, Joy Cons right now are pretty expensive. They are. They're like seventy dollars. Yeah, for they're a crazy expensive. That's what I'm saying. Like, put detachable ones on there, but make them cheap. But you know, no rumble, no IR reader, none. You know, no motion controls. Oh, and speaking of like uh, cost saving, uh, this is supposed to be. Oh my god, I don't know why I found this kind of annoying, but like the battery life, it's supposed to be thirty minutes longer than what the regular switch yeah. is i'm like that's all you can get 30 yeah. minutes like yeah i know that's uh, you know, know they cut a lot and i feel like they're really gonna make a killing with this with they the are devices. because this what they're putting in here is just a handheld and a screen and it has a memory card slot yeah and then it has a game slot yeah and then internet internet connection correct like that's pretty there's phones out there that can do this that are, you know, that are cheaper. Like, I don't know. I feel like they they price it at 200 I think they're making, like, a lot of money each time one of these systems is sold. Well, I don't know. I mean, we say that, but, I mean, we really don't know. Like, uh, I mean, I mean, I don't know, at least, like, the, what's the actual development cost for each Switch? 
I mean, they could be just look at the amount of stuff they cut though. Yeah. And they only dropped it a hundred dollars. True. No dock, no detachable controllers, bigger screen, like you you're literally selling like you took out all the cool stuff out of the Switch. Mm-hmm. That's my problem. I don't have a problem with the product. Yeah. I, I have a problem with the pricing. I think it could be cheaper. Honestly, I, I think the same too. Uh, but, you know, could, you look at the 3DS, cheaper. you buy a new 3DS, it's at $200. It was. But the new yeah. 3DS has two screens, has 3D in it <laughs> that not a lot of people use. Um, Stylus. Sty- yeah. Yeah. I mean... A camera? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, I think the Switch has it one too, right? No. No? No. Nope. Uh, oh, oh, never mind. So, I don't know, man. I mean, yeah, the 3DS is overpriced, but... No, I mean, if anything, the 3DS is dead. This is yeah. it. This is, this is the goodbye yeah, for the Yeah, and $200, I mean, it's hard not to buy that. And look at the no, I'm telling quali- you, that, that's the quantity why this, of games. This is like, why I feel it's, it's for the kids. It's for little yeah, kids. exactly. If you it's, have no other choice... Yeah. If you're an adult, get the get the full switch, man. Yeah, pay the, the, the hundred dollars. You get all the other shit. But if you have no choice, you're buying for multiple kids. Yeah, switch items is a good option. Uh, and people complaining about it, well, have fun. Yeah. Nintendo's gonna make a killing. Hell yeah, they are. Buy stock right now. Stocks. Stocks. Buy Nintendo stock Lots immediately. Of stocks. Um. All right, so we're gonna go to our final segment of the show, uh, our final punches, where we give our final opinions. Our last words. Uh, so my final punch. Oh my my bad. Uh, this is releasing September twentieth. Oh, the switch light. Okay, I didn't I didn't hear you say the date, but uh yeah. Oh, and it's coming out a week after. What game is that? It's coming out a week after. I don't know. There's a lot of games coming out. Hell yeah, there's a lot of games coming yeah. out September October. Uh, and it, it, it's in conjunction the, with the, the switch light. Yeah. The anyway. Pokemon one is it coming out to November? Yeah, correct. But it's going to be a special Switch Lite, so, yeah. Anyways, um, uh, my final punch, mm-hmm. pay the woman the same, man. Oh, my God. They, they win, mul- they've won multiple World Cups. Uh, they win championships after championships. They're one of the top teams consistently, regardless of the generations that have come by. The women are killing it. I mean, they're the only ones actually winning trophies. Pay the woman, you know, they should be getting paid more. I mean, it's not really that they don't, they're, they're not winning. It's more, nobody's watching, bro. Bro, they showed those stats. Now, rec- now granted, their recent stats, maybe in the last year. I mean, I'm talking about like a exhibition or something. Who's watching a women's exhibition versus a men's well, exhibition? Well, they're getting more ratings. They're getting more sales. <laughs> That's the issue. That's recent. No, the woman. Yeah. Pay them more. We'll see. No, uh, no. Why would wh- no one wants to watch the men anymore? I mean, they're you just know they're gonna lose. They're not going deep anyway. All right. Well, okay. We just had the women's World Cup. Let's see how it goes with the men's one. Hey man. <laughs> hey, I'm all for them making a deep run. I'm That's all what for I'm th- saying. Ain't nobody watching this one. Bro, I'm all for them making the men's making a run. It's not gonna happen. No, what I'm saying is not about that. It's, I'm just saying that more people are watching the men's World Cup versus the women's. Well, the stats show different. Well, we'll see next year. All right. Well, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, that's my final <laughs> punch. What you got? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm angry at anything right now. Uh, shit. I don't know. I don't think I have anything. Mm. Everything's good. Everything's life is great. <laughs> Twitch.tv forward slash JRX 4X. Twitch.tv forward slash JRX 4X. All right. So that's been our show this week, guys. Episode 50. Thank you for this journey. It's been badass. Uh, let us know what you guys have to say in the comments. Am I wrong? Is Jerks wrong? No. I know I'm not wrong. I'm I right know, all I'm the time. Wrong. But let us know. Stay tuned this Wednesday. We got a hump day show coming out. We try a new game, Mario Maker. Two. Uh, we try to we try to win at Mario Maker. And I don't know. I don't think it's going to turn out very well. But yeah, catch it. We'll see y'all next week, guys. Thank you. Peace. Bye-bye.